All right, it's the conclusion to what is probably my favorite section of this entire course. Um, this has been section four of the Scrape the Planet course. We have covered spiders, all things spider in this section. It's been a blast. The Kevin Bacon problem was an absolute beast of a problem to solve with web scrapers and web spiders. And it was a lot of fun implementing that incredibly complex but fairly cool implementation of a spider for the Kevin Bacon problem. It was a blast to solve, and the last um, the, the last video that we did on a Wikipedia spider was way simpler, but lots and lots and lots of fun to develop. And there, it doesn't really take long to find a really good application of a Wikipedia spider. Um, just kind of storing Wikipedia like locally has a lot of really cool implications. Um, so. First off, thanks so much for watching that section. It was a beast. I know it was tons of material. The Kevin Bacon problem was incredibly confusing for a while, and it probably stayed incredibly confusing. Lots of you may not have ever gotten it because it was something that was very difficult to explain. If you do have questions, you can reach out to me on my email. I will leave that either in the description of the video or somewhere within the course. I don't know exactly how Udemy does that. Um, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments of the course, in the comments on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube, or um, you know, hit me up on Twitter, something like that. I've got open DMs for that you know, very purpose. So if you've got any questions, let me know. And if tons and tons of people have questions, I'll probably try to redo the, the Kevin Bacon problem in particular. Um, but Section 5. Section 5, honestly is going to be very interesting because section five is going to be when we add lots of power to the foundations that we've already built. We're going to talk about things like prioritized smart queues built into databases. We're going to be talking about multi-threading our scrapers, which is always wicked cool. Um, we're going to kind of talk about taking the foundational, simple-ish knowledge that we've already built up and really adding lots of gas to it. I mean, if, if, if building the foundation was what we've done in sections one through four, then now we're starting to build out the dining halls. We're starting to build out the 12 car garages that you'll have after you become a, a professional web scraper. Um, you know, this is going to be a really, really cool section to work on. I'm really looking forward to jumping right into it. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on the introduction because Honestly, it, it's, it's a cool section and it will introduce itself as we go. Thank you so much. Don't forget to leave course reviews. They really help me out and take it easy.